As a contractor, I know just how important it is when a machine goes down in the middle of the night to get it back up and running as quickly as possible. This ultra high pressure pump is the only such pump in the world that does not require a torque wrench to work on it. I'm going to demonstrate for you right now, as I frequently do, sometimes in my suit, just how quick and easy it is to perform maintenance on this high pressure pump. And in fact, we're going to fully change three valves. If it's in the middle of the night and you have got a paving crew and painting crew and safety people on scene, this is so important. Or if you're on a runway closure where closure time is limited and no TAMs are necessary, it's vitally important. So here we go. And just for the sake of illustrating, Voitech is going to start a stopwatch right now and we'll let you know how many minutes it took at the end of it. Voitech, go ahead. The first thing we'll do is using an impact wrench and an air outlet positioned just beneath the combo skid, we're going to remove the bolts on the head. Leaving one bolt in place will make it easy to hinge the head downward in just another minute. The head is positioned on hinges and will hold itself in place easily when swung in the downward position. Two screwdrivers can be used to pop the valves out of their positions. And here at WTI, we recommend carrying three fully lapped valves ready to go. In the event that there's any issue, simply place your lapped valves into the chambers. And place your used valves into a carton to go back to the shop and be maintenance in the shop environment. Pressing these valves into position is very easy. And actually, I want to take one of these back out and show you. As a contractor, I've owned many other high pressure pumps. And this is a feature that I just really love about these valves. Is they're held together with a little safety pin here. And what this does is when you put this back together, you don't have to worry about it coming apart. There's your valve fully disassembled and your lapped surfaces can be clearly shown put it back together, you simply replace these just the way you found them. On other pieces of equipment that I've owned, I won't mention names, but these valves are three separate pieces and holding them into position while you slide the head back in place is not easy and in many cases you've invested hours in tearing down this system and putting it back together 
only to find that when you took the final step, something came out of position. And you can see clearly here how that is impossible to happen in this case. Now, we're ready to go back together, but actually, I want to take the time and show you a really useful feature of this pump. Using this tool, you can loosen the packing nut, and this is just simply a line to keep the plungers cool, which is all done with water. And you can see that the entire stuffing box comes right out. To access your packings, you can do so right here. Here's your carbide backup ring. And your packing can be found just on the other side of that. Now I would need to use a screwdriver to get that out, and I don't want to do that just now as the packing is in good condition. It doesn't need to be replaced. To reassemble, simply screw it back together and slide it back into the chamber. And there you go. I've taken some time that wouldn't normally be necessary, but I wanted to show you how really, really simple this system is. Other systems might have five plungers here. This pump achieves 12 gallons a minute by having three, but having a longer stroke and a larger diameter plunger so that you can pump the same volume with fewer plungers. Now we're ready to reassemble the pump. Simply lift the unit and get one bolt started. Once you've got one bolt started, we'll simply put the rest of them in position. Now we've left the truck in the off position, which makes it easier to hear what I'm saying. It also means that the normal air pressure is not building on the vehicle. So we may have to start the vehicle in order to gain more air pressure. We'll see here in just a moment how we stand. I will add that if air is not available, you can simply use this tool and a two pound rubber mallet and accomplish the very same thing. It'll just take you a little bit longer to do that. So here we go. One last bolt. Although no torquing is necessary, it's not a bad idea to just give your bolts a final tap. But as you saw from my demonstration,
the cylinders literally float in between. And so the high pressure is what does the sealing between the stuffing box and the high pressure manifold. One last bolt here and we're going to ask Voitech just how long this took. We'll do that, give this cooling line another turn, shut our lid, and Voitech, how long do we have? Nine minutes and 22 seconds. Nine minutes and 22 seconds. So you can easily see, there was plenty of time enough to change all three valves, change a packing or two, and, uh, and time to kill. Now, when you're on a project in the middle of the night, that makes all of the difference. One thing about water blasting equipment, you don't get to pick the times of failures, but you can choose a machine that is really, really simple and easy to maintenance, easy to work on. Thank you for, uh, thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope that you'll ask questions and perhaps ask for a similar demonstration from a different supplier that you might be considering.